In this short video, let's try to understand the different pooling techniques with which you will reduce the overall number of dimensions that's present within your feature map, thereby reducing the overall complexity and also reduce the problem of overfitting and induce some sort of generalization of the model. So in this given example, we are looking at max pooling where there is a specific filter of shape to cross to and this filter or kernel is being overlaid on different localized regions within your input data with a specific row and column trade of two here. So within every localized region, you are just taking the maximum value out of it and assigning it here in the output cell of the given reduced feature map, right? So the strongest possible signal within this localized region is being extracted. Likewise, in the next localized region, whatever is the strongest value, whatever is the highest or maximum value is being extracted. So likewise, you also have average pooling where you are going to derive the average value within a localized region that is trying to represent the smooth end version of your region. And we also have specialized types of pooling like global average pooling, especially when you are having multiple feature maps like here. So every single feature map is now being reduced to only one single value within your output. So you're only taking the strongest value in case of global max pooling. In case of average pooling, you're just taking the average value of this complete feature map. So likewise, the average value of this one is being represented as 3.6 and this one is being represented as 4. Point. So global average pooling and max pooling are two different techniques which basically are employed right before your dense layer. So you basically are converting this dense feature map into one single 1D representation which acts as an input to your dense layer. Thank you.